Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikita. I'm your personal mentor, advisor, psychologist, and just internet friend. Guys, you know, I have an interesting idea for discussing today because a few days ago I watched a live broadcast from popular psychologist from my personal online university and it is was a live broadcast about burning out syndrome from like psychological points of view. It's not just my imagination, I have notes, so today I'm going to present you this topic and tell you all information, all secrets about it, and uh, a few professional life hacks how you can deal with it and how you can actually fight with it. So let's go watch it, make notes and repeat it in your personal life. Well, firstly, I want to break your stereotypes about it is uh, now all people have heard about that because it's really well-known syndrome. But firstly, and for example, if we going if you going to tell just about correct things, it is about like professional area, just about just about work job about place where you're working and fr firstly it comes to us from uh, doctors, from psychologists, from therapists and someone like that. People uh, that job connected with working and connection with other people. Now a lot of bloggers, a lot of famous people, a lot of people generally use this but it isn't true and it doesn't work in this way. Of course, breakout syndrome it um, has an impact about on all areas of your life, starting from studying, ending your relationship with family, with your partner and your friendship and sports and something like that. But when you feel exhausted uh, about studying or about speaking with some people, or, for example, you just feel an apathy and something like that, it is not burning out. Because it is just about your job and your work. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But it just connected with professional area. And just professional files we can uh, add to this category. So, first stereotype. And next, I want to tell you that it in uh, if you like stages and it depends so firstly you have to understand that it's just about professional files not about studying not about connection with other people not about speaking not about like your motivation and something like that no it is uh other thing not this not just okay it is popular yeah it is well known of all people but it can't keep all areas of your life. It have an impact, but it's not about all. Well, as a result, after your brain out, it is firstly decreased performance because you remember that it's just about professional area. And for example, you a doctor and some patient comes to you and you just say, Oh, you can search it internet or just doesn't care about it or doesn't matter about it. It's okay. You are going to feel better and something like that. So you feel so exhausted and you even can't make your work okay. And that's the first. The next is it is psychology and social distance from people because Again, you haven't any power for do that. You haven't any energy for connected with people. You haven't any energy and resources, like emotional resources for connection with people. Doesn't matter, it is your family, it is your friends, it is your partner. No, in this way, you starting to distance from people. But it is not correct because from the first and two stages, of uh, like emotional 
this exhaustion in this way and burning out syndrome some help and some support actually can motivate you and help you with this problem so people are used to help you and people are able to help you your close friend your partner your family doesn't matter some people who you love and uh, who loves you Again, they can help you with this problem, but at first, on first into stages, and after you have to go to therapist or to psychologist, and just professional are able to help you with this. The burning out syndrome, uh, again, it comes uh, near goes for all life near like excellent students syndrome and perfectionist syndrome. For example, when in childhood. Uh, your parents respected you just when you do something good or correct or just about your or about achieves your goals or something like that and starting arguing and starting uh, angry for you for your some fault and uh, something some things that you even can't couldn't to do good and yeah after you have a perfectionist syndrome and after perfectionist syndrome, you're going to have a burning out syndrome because you know just normal people like okay, I'm saying no, oh, I'm saying normal people, but it it's not okay. It's uh, not actually good uh, describing for it. People without any like uh, mental disorders and psychological problems, they just. Um, um working with some specialist or the psychologist or they just have a less mental disorders and problems than, than others and they understand that okay i have to do something good and i am going to try to do that good uh, i'm going to try my work my some i don't know just some things on a high level but if i can do something really well it's okay i'm i can do a mistake and i'm oh i'm actually a simple person which can make a mistake and that's opinion of like a normal person without any mental disorders but for perfectionist the uh, people like this type they want to do always all things on the the highest level like more than okay more than brilliant more than enough they just want to do something on a really highest level just even they can't even they didn't have an experience with this file those people like um like i have described they want to do better all things better than others and then if they can't do something on like perfect level they just starting to starting to say like oh you can't do that it is too bad they starting arguing and starting uh become angry like parents in his or her childhood i hope you uh, understand this connection between your family in your childhood and your like nowadays it's connect and it is really important to fix all your disorders and problems and some i don't know like just features from your childhood and understand that okay my parents they are uh, like all people and they can make a mistake but I don't need to do the same what they have done. Like starting are arguing for myself and starting angry for myself and saying something bad things about myself because I can't, uh, I couldn't do something on a highest level. And after blaming yourself in this way, after all these things, like you always blame yourself, you have a perfectionist syndrome, and you can't do something on the highest level always. Your body, your minds, your brain uh, always feel like a state of danger and they just trying to wait some danger and they don't understand why it's uh they don't think why it is uh one come to your to you and then you're just feeling that you can't have a relax. You just can't stop thinking about something. You can't just 
relaxing and have a holiday and after that you feel you don't understand what you feel but it is named like cognitive destroying of reality well the most interesting so we come to it and i want to say that you starting always feel like attacked of a time and like your life became a deadline and then about stages and steps in classic psychology psychology in classic psychology it is just three stages but in a new modern psychology it is four stages and i'm going to tell you both variants and just for understanding and for your knowing so the first stages it is like it is the hardest for understand that in a near time in a near future you're going to have this burning out syndrome well the four stages you have a lot of energy a lot of motivation a lot of achieves a lot of uh, goals which you have to achievements uh, a lot of something, I don't know, a lot of projects, a lot of dreams, and something like that. You just always feel a lot of energy. You want to work. And that it is a uh, stage which is the most hardest to understand that, okay, in a few day, in a few months, it doesn't matter, in a few weeks or something just like that, I'm going to have a burning gun syndrome. Of course, you haven't connect all your feeling with this but i just can name you this and after you have to understand and analyze your life for understanding is it true or not or just uh, is it connected with yourself or not the next you're starting to feel an anxiety and uh, starting to becoming a psychosomatic syndromes and you know, just our body speak with us and there is one like, I don't know, something which helps you to understand it. And it's becoming a few exhausting and you just understand that, oh, I don't want to do this, honestly. And it's more and more understanding that you're some dreams in your reality, it's not the same. And your dreams can come true. And you're starting to feel exhausted. And you're starting to stopping speaking with your friends or family. And just coming a lot of anxiety. And it is the time when you have to go to a specialist or a psychologist. The third step, it is in the classic psychology, it is the end of burning out and the hardest problems, the hardened feeling and the hardest uh, like stage of the syndrome. And I can explain it for you. Firstly, it is a lot of emotions. And really, it is on the one hand, you're starting to be aggressive and to emotional and your reaction isn't okay you start to be aggressive and angry of all just not big deal things and um, something like that and starting nervous for all things generally but on the other hand you are trying to save your emotions it's a little bit tricky because it seems like oh this guy is too emotional but in the same way it is uh, this guy in the same way um are keeping close and closer and all his problems all his i don't know emotions keep into yourself into himself or herself you understand and then as i said before in the start of our video your professional uh routine comes to less important for others and comes less important for you actually and less useful for others and you just starting to say like for example a doctor starting to say his or uh, her clients that oh you will be great and just something like that it's okay it doesn't matter so he or she starting to think that nothing make his like 
uh, I don't know, feeling some nervous about these things. But in this way, on the other hand, this guy is uh, starting to be aggressive for all things generally. Yes, and also I want to say that, like, uh, for example, I want to give you an example for, like, uh, uh, explaining in easy words and for your understanding. It is, uh, you just imagine you're a psychologist and you're just starting to choose who of your clients are good people and who of your clients are bad. It is not okay, actually. And also new psychologists they choose and for stage between third the fourth is the most like hard but if in the third uh stage you can you can do something alone by yourself you just have to go and psychologist but in the three and fourth stages uh you have to go to a psychologist and just or therapist and actually i want to say about the modern uh psychology about the first stage is that it comes to depression your burning out syndrome comes to depression and you have a la like a lazy behavior for just simply daily things for example like drink a water or just watch a film and something like that so i hope you understand what i mean and how you can what you have to deal with this so about the first stage you can change your work actually or change your daily routine and the best hacks for you for like don't feel the syndrome burning out syndrome and don't feel generally burning out you have to change your uh, daily routine sometimes in the first stage you can change your work actually it is and it is going to be well it, it is going to work uh, correct but by the way you have to remember that you can change your work you can change your daily routine but firstly you have to work with yourself and your inner behavior so without it you are going to not have like results and some hacks firstly you can to choose one day of your week and in this day you can try something new or just every weekend or every month you have to uh try uh some new hobby new i don't know you have to go or a new place for a walk or something like that so this uh, a little futures and this a little hugs are going to help you with uh, to dealing with your uh your exhausting feelings about your work or about your study of course it's not just about burning out syndrome it's about just even your study or you feel bad about something uh, which uh, around yourself your environment and something like that and you can try something new sometimes and it's going to work in this way but of course if you have uh, the second or third stage or of course for like depression or too much lazy i know i call it lazy but you know this feeling like you have depression and you're so exhausted and you don't even understand what i have to do how i can live and how i can wake up in the next day because you just don't want to do anything it's too hard just drink your water or eat or something like that so in this way a psychologist or a therapist are going to help you nobody else and you even you can't but remember if you hear something that seems to your life now or you understand that your friends your family have the same you have to help them because as i said before support on the earlier stages it is the most useful thing because not just some people say oh how you can to be exhausted or how to your work or studying uh are able to be hard no it can be it's able to be because other people don't understand you but choose some close friends or some your family members who understand you and you have to speak with them so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it and it was i think so useful because it's not just my mind it's not a motivation but it is a fact 
which uh, are written in a therapist course in a like psychologist course and it was a live broadcast by uh, by uh, teachers from my university where I'm studying now it is was really interesting for myself I have know something about burning out syndrome before because I have uh, told told with yourself in my YouTube channel it was a special video but not just about special burning out but yeah it is a professional facts and quotes which i have said before you have to understand it it is true it is like 100 percent truth and yeah remember it and uses hacks uses notes use my advices which i have said before and yes yeah, thank you for watching this video again subscribe for my channel for new content for new motivation and special like this professional psychological content yeah and see you in the next video like me like this video please and write your feedback write your questions write your advices in comments and yeah see see you in the next video bye bye